Okay, here we are with a new video clip. Our guest commentator today. Between seven. Are you seeing the video now? Yeah, I see it. Okay, uh, our guest today is Fair. Uh, how should I pronounce your internet Hello, name? Hello, everyone. That's that's right. Okay. It's actually um, fuzzy wiggy binks, but uh, that's close enough. That's hard to type. Okay, and we get to watch this exciting bit right here, where I screw up my run and do a lot of pointless backtracking. I made a mistake and I went the wrong direction. I'm gonna notice this bird up here. This bird is evil. If the bird touches you, it'll it's steal. Pelican. Yeah. Sort of a, a vulturous kind it'll of thing. But fish. If it touches you, it'll steal one of your items. And I hate it a oh. lot. But if you manage to kill it, it'll drop 200 rupees. So, he's not all bad. Okay, I've got another save point statue here I've activated. And, uh, there's a huge boulder over here blocking this path. It's blocking the path to Romani Ranch. And there's a guy hacking at it, but he won't be done until the third day. It's John Henry. Alright, and since I've got all this time to kill, I'm going to uh, take this time to retract something I said in my first video. I said that the uh, Nintendo 64 DD was a hard drive, and I was actually wrong about that. It wasn't a hard drive. It was more like a zip drive for the system. Yeah, yeah. Ham it up, Tim. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, but it was still kind of insane and from the future. Uh, when you bought it, so you're it running a giant sponge right now, right? Now those are shrubbery or hedges or something, but not the kind you can chop down. Yeah, the 64DD when you bought it, it came with a mouse and keyboard, and it was designed to be an online console with online, you know, you could do email, chat, and stuff. This thing launched in 1999. But uh, Nintendo realized it was going to be a failure, maybe because it accessed the internet over a modem. And uh, they didn't even sell it in stores. You had to subscribe to their online service, then order it through that. And they'd send it to you. Games on the internet, that'll be the day. <laughs> yeah, this whole internet thing is just a fad anyway. So here I'm buying you know the You that game looks precisely... He looks precisely like what you would expect someone who works in a bomb shop to look like. Bomb shop sounds like some valley in your window, I think. Bomb shop. Oh, bomb here's a, a rock mom. dude. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's a, a Goron. <laughs> they eat rocks, I think. And he's talking about the huge bomb I could use to, uh, open up that path to Romani Ranch, but I can't use that yet. Or frighten the Great Satan. <laughs> yeah, the the blast mastics here, that part I think, it's basically the suicide bomber mask. Scary thing. There's the mailman. I'm, I'm not stuck in the mailman right now. we got other things to do. Feeling the temptation to stalk the mailman. I'm sure he's doing interesting things. No. Oh, and uh, when I was reading about the 64 DD, the, uh, the zip drive expansion pack for the N64, I read about the uh, the Famicom disk system. Which is just insane, because Jap Japan basically got a different Nintendo than we did. They had a, an attachment that was very successful. Go sleep in the manger, Link. Um, I'm going to go talk to this uh, old woman so she'll put me to sleep with her uh, annoying so annoying uh, stories. Kind of like what I'm doing to the audience right now. She's going to talk about the Nintendo 64 DD and put you to sleep. <laughs> yeah. This video will get much more interesting towards the end, I promise. We're going to the ranch, Tim. 
the ranch. Are there rabbits on the ranch, George? Surprising you mentioned that. There will be a rabbit type sort of thing later. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so I was talking about. I was rambling endlessly on about the uh, the hard drive ex expansion things. Basically, when when the Famicom disk drive was uh, in full swing, you could take one of these discs, go to a vending machine in Japan, put the disc in there, buy a game. It'll be written to the disc. Then you take it home and play it. And then you'd go to your friend who had the pirated piece of hardware that would copy one disc to the other. So that worked out. Now some guy in the, the thread... Uh, video froze up on me. Oh crap. Uh, it should come back. Did last time. I just vis visited the uh, the bathroom. Some guy in the thread said that if you go to the bathroom at midnight, there's a hand that comes out. And then if you say Bloody Mary into the mirror three times, she appears and kills you. Now, what are you supposed to do to the hand is uh, trade an item for uh, for toilet paper. I'm not sure why you need the toilet paper. Link never uses the bathroom. Uh, do you have video back yet? I'm guessing no. No, I do not. Um, try reopening the uh, the IP address. I'll just keep talking. Yeah, so this is where you find this girl on day three. Her name is Anju. And I'm acting like I'm rem remembering now. Anju is the name of the woman Cafe was engaged to. So I'll try asking her about Cafe, see what she says. No, she can't find him. She looks pretty depressed. And her wedding is coming up. The wedding is She's running around pretending to be a woman? Oh no, that's the mask. That's actually boy hair, by the way. That's not girl hair. Oh. Yeah. yeah uh, what was I saying? Exclamation point. <laughs> ask her about uh, cafe. So she's ticked off about it for some reason. And I was saying something just a minute ago. Don't even remember what what, what it was. Yep. Do you have a yeah. video now? Yeah, I do. Oh, good. Good. Uh, remember that trip to the ranch I promised you, Tim? Yeah. We're on our way now. You do follow through on your promises. Yeah. That moon is still there. At the end of this video, I'm going to pick up the uh, most useful mask in the game. Wow. That'll that be exciting. That through the grass was fraught with peril. <laughs> the Milk Road. Milk? Oh yeah, yeah. I think you're um, not seeing the same lag as I am. Didn't Marco Polo... Oh, am I ahead of you or behind you? Ahead, for some reason. Technology is fun, huh? Yep. Yep. And there's a guy floating on, on a balloon up there, but I'm totally ignoring him because I just hate him so much. <laughs> it's the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. So, uh, I was talking about Nintendo. Now, they, they've basically been making the, the best games in the world for the past 20 years now. They've actually... They can reliably make a really adorable mascot. I mean, they even made Mario, an overweight, like, 40-ish plumber, into a, a, a cute, adorable mascot. You know, there's Pikachu. There's kids all over the world crazy about Pikachu. Then there's Pokemon in general, which adults are crazy about. Some of them, anyway. There's the Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, yeah. I think Rare owns Donkey Kong now, or something. Hey, that's my horse. My horse was stolen by. Uh, what a tiny, cute horse it is! Yeah, it's adorable. See, Nintendo just makes really cute stuff, you know. 
Here's my cute horse. He was pretty ticked off about being in so that cage. So what's the though. um blimp that's bouncing up and down there? That is uh that's there to confuse you. But that, uh, let's, let's look at this cute, adorable girl right here. Oh, the dog's oh. back. Oh, what is wrong with her? She doesn't look well. Woe is her. See what she has to say. She's obviously in pain from sitting on the very corner of the box. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she's basically brainless right now. Hmm. Well, I want to talk to someone about my horse. Maybe she'll help me. Hmm? I'd like to talk to you about my horse. Not cows, no. no I don't care about your cows. Yeah. You should just ride a cow instead, then you can have milk and ride. Oh. That sounds like a good plan, but there are no cows. All the cows have gone missing. Oh. Why did you throw that chicken? <laughs> I thought I might distract her out of her funk, you know? Get her out of her depression. <laughs> It didn't work. Chicken tosser. No one's talking to me about my horse. Uh, Alright, you know what? If I can't have my horse, you can't have so your I'll dog. So I'll impale a dog on a fence. <laughs> get, get in that cage, dog. Get in there. <laughs> get in the cage, dog. Alright, that's better. There are the people in there, too. <laughs> I would, if I could. But now I've left the dog in there with the horse. And then kill them and make a coat out of their skin. I get a feeling that the inside of that cage will uh, not be something I want to see. And that's actually how you solve the puzzle. You throw the horse, or the, you don't throw the horse, you throw the dog into the cage and they open the cage to get the dog out and then you get your horse. No, that would make sense, so you don't do that. <laughs> now this guy... Gollum? Yeah, it's Gollum all grown up. And... You know, young Gollum What's had to think for uh, fishes. That's thing on the ground behind him there. That's a, um... This guy's fetish, ob fetish object, actually. This guy has some sort of rooster fixation. Definitely not healthy. Those are roosters? Those are tiny chicks. Okay, now that obviously Chickens this is... Chickens fall in! Yeah. Now this must have been hell on the original N64, because the graphics were just so blurry. I don't know if you'd even be able to see those things. Yep. On the eve of the apocalypse, I am marching with chicks. That's this is way to do it. Yeah, this is necessary to get the, uh, the most useful mask. I like the moon in profile. It looks uh, even more vicious and evil than usual. You know, if someone told me that the only way to save the world was to march in a parade of baby chickens, I would just let the world die. <laughs> yeah, this music never gets old. Don't you just love it, adventure game logic? Wow, you've been marching them so long that they matured. Yeah, it took that long to do. Well, now if you keep marching, they should start laying eggs, and then <laughs> more chicks will hatch. It goes for a full circle. Full circle. How do you work that into, into a paradox, though? What came first, the, uh, the marching band or the chicks? I don't know. Yeah, so I have a bunny hood. I have a bunny hood now. It's the best mask in the game. You gotta wear it just about all the time. Like a Christmas story. Okay, now let's put on that bunny mask. Now, but this description says, uh, yeah, something of the wild. I didn't quite catch that. That makes you run really, really fast. 
Makes you do everything faster. <laughs> I think the uh, the bunny hood is laced with whatever the kids in town are on. Look how much faster I go just wearing that hood. It must be like aerodynamic, like a, a spoiler or something. This makes you fly right along. Maybe you're just so embarrassed wearing it that you have to run as fast as you can to get inside. <laughs> now here I find an abandoned house, and these people are so lucky this game isn't Oblivion. Or I would steal everything I could take, <laughs> everything of value, and then just throw everything else on the floor. Chuck it all in the corner or something. Instead you just run in circles. Yeah. I want to get Link so dizzy he oh, starts puking. that was puking. a fruitful side trip there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that event. Bust into someone's Jazz house for the buck. Yeah. There's stuff that goes on in that house near the apocalypse, so I'm going to go look at that now. Wearing the yeah, uh, little bunny little hood. Fact, uh, after this, Link formed a band, and the okay. name of that band, Jethro Tull. <laughs> I love how he's wearing the bunny hood, even within the time rift. That moon is really mean looking. What does it have against the ground, anyway? Huh? I mean, what did the Earth ever do to the moon, it's anyway? Space. Oh. <laughs> Well, the Earth's uh, a big jerk, just thinks the universe revolves around itself. Well, why is this, is this woman telling me to enjoy myself? Seems creepy to me. In some cultures, that's considered an open invitation. <laughs> oh. Take this band upstairs. Um, door. There it is, yeah. Got a room full of depressed people up here. These are all the people from. They're throwing their dog around. <laughs> Stupid dog! Get out of here, dog! Yeah, she looks pretty upset. Step off my grill, dog. The man now, dog. Why do we have to resort to that already? Can you throw the old woman around? <laughs> this is oblivion, I throw every, all the furniture around. I find a broom and just smack him in the face with it. <laughs> this old woman is still old and senile. I, I love that the, the twist of the old woman's character is that she's old and senile, and then in her lucid moments she pretends that she's old and senile. She doesn't realize that she's actually crazy. You know, I'm not old and senile, and I still pretend to be on occasion. It's just fun. <laughs> Throwing dogs around is my idea of a good time. Yeah, we're pretty much done with this uh, ranch for now. These people won't re react to the uh, cafe mask. Oh. Can we come back next summer? We're going to try to come back on the uh, first day, as early as possible, as that's possible. You get to see why the little girl is uh, so completely retarded. Cause she's, uh, you come here on the first day, she's doing just fine. Does the horse and kick her in the head? No, something much more inexplicable. Alright, so yeah. Now I'm going back to the beginning of the first day. There's just uh, one more thing. Well, not one more thing. Maybe two or three more things I wanted to do real quick. And then, uh, what am I doing there? No, I do want to return to the first, first day. Stop. Stop reconsidering. Past self. Yeah, this is the last video we'll be spending in and around the uh, the town. Moving right on ahead to the. Uh, first dungeon after this. You sound very excited. I, I'm just feeling the excitement vibe coming right through 
the internet from you. What? I was hoping you would talk about uh, Nintendo accessories again. <laughs> Hopefully unsuccessful ones. Yeah. You talk about the Sega CD. That was a fun and exciting thing. <laughs> Remember how it could play videos if the video took up one third of the screen? And how they designed many games <laughs> around that? So now you're running back to the ranch again? Uh, no, now I'm uh, apparently very indecisive. I don't remember what I was heading for right now. Oh, that's right. There's um, there's a big pile of cash I can have access to now because I'm wearing the bunny hood. But you jump further right there, and then jump across these, and then you find a uh, big pile of treasure that someone stuck up here for some reason. So what this means is that our cash problems are now gone. At the start of every cycle, I can run over, get 200 rupees right off the bat. I can get the rupees this from that really chest. really a safe place to store our life savings. Why? <laughs> of course it is. The only way anyone could get here is if there was a kid with a bunny mask. And what are the chances of that happening? Yep. And now my, uh, my banking strategy is going to pay off. Yeah, this guy magically What does this guy have against his knees? I don't know. He, he's anti-knee. This guy can magically hold on to your rupees, even though time is getting flipped around. And when I gave him so much money, he's going to give me a prize. Da -da -da -da. Like reward points. Yeah. Rupees don't make sense anyway. Now, if you'd only picked up the red ones... That's all my bank gives me. Oh, uh... We're doing something else now, and I'm going to apologize in advance for this, because you are not going to like this. Did you see the last video? Where I got the, uh, the mask no, lit? It... Actually, I think I showed that to you uh, without commentary. In the last video, I got the mask oh, okay. from the dancing man. Here are the dancing girls. Now these actually are girls, I, I determined that. There's a, uh, a bit of dialogue where someone re refers to one of oh. them as her. One of them oh. re refers to the girl as her, and also uh, when you see, they see them in the bomber's notebook. It, holy crap shits. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is about the creepiest mask I've ever seen. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it, that's it, uh... Wow. <laughs> oh, here I go. Yeah. I am so sorry. Now, how would you react if you saw that dancing around in front of you like that? You, you'd react, you'd um, just go... You, you'd be so horrified, you just... I think I would probably vomit. <laughs> it, well, these people are going into some I sort would... of psychological thing and they have to imitate me or just go horribly insane. It's like those Quizlings from World War Z. Yeah, now they're sort of... Been, it's uh, like Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. Th they're in love with me, I guess. See, the sisters, right there. And I stole their hearts with my incredibly scary... stitched on head thing. Good, no step on them. Yeah, that's that's basically the end of this video right now. Yeah. You know, I tried to get other people to do that video so you wouldn't have to. It didn't work out that way. Well, that's alright. Yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping Link would, like, pour water on himself at the end of that dance. Uh, I don't understand. Mm. Flash dance. Never mind. Oh, I never saw that. All right, and uh, yep, that's it for this video. So join us next time. Jokes are easier to make when you know pop culture. <laughs>